San Bonani, Minjan, Na Minya. Welcome back to Sia Funda. I hope you have been practicing speaking this morning. We've learned a few things. We've learned how to greet, which we just did. We've learned how to ask and answer questions. So I hope you've been practicing. And just to begin with a little bit of review, I'm going to ask you some of the questions that we've done in the past couple of weeks, and I want you to try to answer. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh, Pimage. Oh, Pitishela. E. P. Inja. Lupi Lutanvo. C. P. Sitolo. Lipi Lison. I hope you were able to answer some or most of those. And I think you were. So well done on trying and well done on continuing to practice. Today, we're going to do what we talked about last week. And that is we're going to learn five plus a bonus word that are borrowed words. What's the advantage of learning borrowed words? The biggest advantage with learning borrowed words is that they relate to something you already know. And that increases the chance of you remembering because it's an addition rather than something from scratch, right? And so we're going to learn five Saswati words that were borrowed from the English language plus a bonus one. We'll save it for the end. So make sure you listen to the end. All right, are we ready? Our first borrowed word is Lipepa. Lipepa. Does that sound like any word you know? Lipepa. That is the word paper. It's a borrowed word from English, meaning, as we know in English, paper. And in Saswati, we say lipepa. All right, here's another one. Lihovisi. Lihovisi. You recognize that one? That is office, an office. Another borrowed word from English. Did you catch that double H sound? Ho, li, ho, vi, si. Office. All right, let's keep moving. Another one is li, po, yi, sa. Li, po, yi, sa. You recognize that one? Police. That is borrowed, a borrowed word meaning police. Li poisa. Two more English borrowed words or two more words borrowed from the English language and then it'll be time for a bonus. All right, the next word that we have that is a borrowed word from English is gesi. Gesi. What do you think that one means? It does not mean guess, as some of you might have guessed. It actually means electricity, and that is from gas, right? In some English expressions, we would express electricity as gas. And so, gesi is a borrowed word from the English language, and it means electricity. All right, last one. This is my absolute favorite because I love what this word is all about, and it's my favorite time of the year. So, this is our last word borrowed from the English language, and that word is kissimusi. Kissimusi. Would you like to try to guess what that one means? That is correct. Kissimusi means Christmas, my favorite time of the year, absolute favorite time of the year, and I believe many people's favorite time of the year, time of the year as well. And that is kisimusi. I'll teach you a bonus phrase before we do our bonus word. If you want to start practicing now in time for Christmas and you wanted to say Merry Christmas or Happy Christmas 
to people around you in society you would say kisimusi lomuhle you would say kisimusi lomuhle happy christmas all right it is now time for the bonus word language is amazing because it's the thing that kind of brings us all together from these different places we bring in perspective and culture and all of these fun things and we mix our languages so to speak to bring about these beautiful things and thing and language is always developing as we have seen as more things are invented as more things are discovered language grows and that's one of my favorite things about it and this is a really fun lesson for me to teach because like i've mentioned i am originally from zambia i moved to swaziland when i was about eight and a half and so i have several languages moving around in my brain and i love that feeling and some of you might relate to that where you have several different languages and they make you who you are and you interact with people who speak many different languages and it makes this beautiful culture as you all come together and so this bonus word that i have is from a language that you might not suspect would be a language that would influence the Swati, but it has in fact influenced us all the way down here in Southern Africa. And this word is borrowed, is a borrowed word from Swahili. Interesting, huh? I thought it was interesting when I found this out and I'll post a link in the comments. You can click on it. There'll be one link in case you want to sign up for more in-depth lessons. You can post um, or rather you can comment in the, um, you can click on the link in the comments. As well, if you would like to do some more research on these borrowed words, you can click on the link in the comment. The link is actually about words that are in Zulu. And unfortunately, there isn't a lot of written stuff about Saswati in, on this topic and a few others. But these Zulu words guide us because those two languages are similar. So, are you ready for this bonus word now that I have prepped it and gotten us ready? Drum roll. The borrowed word from Swahili is Sikazi. Sikazi. Any Swahili speakers recognize something from that word? That word, Sikazi, is a word that means time. And it is borrowed from the Swahili word Wakati. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that quite right. Haven't spoken Swahili I'm not familiar with it, familiar with, I have a lot of friends who speak Swahili, but the word in Swahili is wakati, meaning time or clock. And we borrowed that word into Saswati, and the Saswati word is sikazi, meaning time. And here's a bonus phrase, lots of bonuses today, right? It's just a fun day, fun lesson. A bonus phrase for you, a great question to be able to ask is, what's the time? And so you would have sikazi, which we've just learned, and you would add mbani sikazi. Mbani sikazi. What's the time? All right, we have come to the end of today's lesson. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. Next week, we're going to do borrowed words part two, and we're going to discuss or go through words that were borrowed from Afrikaans. So any African speakers? Make sure you join in and listen to some of these words. Some of you might already be thinking of some that you recognize when you hear some Saswati words. It's going to be fun. Make sure you keep practicing what we've learned, all of this new vocabulary, how to ask questions, and make sure you're learning new things. Language is most, um, you're able to most capture and take it all in when you use it, right? So language is not to be put in a box, but to be used. So make sure you're speaking, speaking, speaking. Thank you for joining. Make sure you click in the comments if you want in-depth lessons. Make sure you click in the comments so you can look at that source where we got these borrowed words from and make sure you practice. Sitao Bonana.